VC. Happy Friday before Christmas. Um, I think Christmas is on, what, Tuesday? So it is quickly approaching. I can't believe I'm not in the Christmas spirit this year. It's, this is the first year I've felt this way. I know the reasons why, um, and no, it's nothing to do with Chris. Chris is amazing, but um, yeah, this is the first year where I haven't listened to really any Christmas music. I haven't even bothered to put up or care about decorations. Um, of course, like I've been buying gifts for family and such, but it just, I'm not into it this year, which kind of concerns me because yeah, I'm usually huge into Christmas, but I hope you guys are enjoying this season and um, yeah, it's quickly approaching here. So no, this is not my shoegaze video that is coming. I, I would like to get that before the end of the month. We'll see if it happens. I have been kind of compiling all of my shoegaze stuff and working on that video. I'm really excited about it because I've just been in that phase for a while now. So um, yeah, that video is coming, stay tuned. I have a few finds to show you. I'm gonna show you all formats today. So I have one new vinyl that I bought. Actually, I've been buying several, but I'm saving them kind of for another video. So I have a bunch of CDs, mostly CDs to show you in this video, a lot of 90s stuff. And then I have some stuff, My one of my best friends, Jay, which I've talked about him before in some videos, he sent me some stuff. So I'm gonna start off with the stuff he sent me actually, some cassettes. He sent me, Never Mind the Bullocks, Here's the Sex Pistols, of course, an iconic punk album right here. Really cool to have that on cassette. Green Day's Kerplunk on cassette. And then Green Day's Dookie, which I love this album. This is one of the first CDs I ever bought I think I was in fourth or fifth grade, but I have a lot of good memories with this album. So it's really cool to have that on cassette for sure. He sent me a tape of Holes uh, MTV's Unplugged, which I haven't heard um, their Unplugged uh, show before. So I'm a Hole fan and uh, this will be fun to listen to. And then he really surprised me with this stuff. You guys know my favorite singer is Juliana Hatfield. So he sent me stuff from his personal collection he was visiting New York for a while for his work and he's from New York. So he was like, well, this stuff is just sitting here. So I'm going to send it to you. I was like, wow. So he sent me Julianna Hatfield single of my sister. Um, yeah, so there's three songs on this, as you can see, and it's number 390 out of 1500. And what's cool about this is it's on like a gray colored vinyl there. So yeah, a really cool collector's item. And then he sent me the 10 inch of it, my sister, but this one has an extra song. It has Ruthless. So cool. And he, this is from the Become What You Are era, which I love that period of Juliana Hatfield's music. This is on Mammoth Records. And he sent me the EP uh, for the birds. I like this cover here, it's 10 inch. You can see the track listing there. Mammoth, just in great shape too. I've been friends with Jay since 2001. In fact, the reason why we became friends was Julian Hatfield's music. So for him to send me those items was really, really special. He's awesome. Okay, and the only new vinyl I'm gonna show you guys right now that I bought, and it just came today, it's Grave Disorder from The Damned. And I haven't even unsealed this yet, but you can see the Hype sticker on there. So, and I love the back picture here. This is the album. It's kind of considered a comeback album simply because Captain Sensible, he came back after like a 19 year long hiatus from the band. And this is really good. Um, it's been one of my favorites for quite some time. I think I, my first boyfriend actually is responsible for getting me into this album greatly. And um, it's just really good. You can see the, the track listing there. It's a mix of punk, goth, even a little bit of pop. And there's some like um, goth piano cuts on there too. It's, it's really worth listening to in my opinion. So Grave Disorder from The Damned. This is, I got this for a pretty good price. Uh, the CD, if even if you look for a used CD of this, it's gonna be pretty pricey online. So nice to have that on vinyl. Okay, now I actually have a lot of CDs to show you guys. So most of this is 90s stuff. There's a few 70s 
and 80s thrown in there, but a lot of it is 90s just because I'm really into 90s right now. I've been really into buying like lots uh, from eBay. So it's kind of like a mixed bag of CDs that uh, people sell all at one time in one auction. One of these sets I won for a total of $6, which I thought was pretty amazing. So I'm gonna get started here. I haven't listened to some of these either, but I just wanted to show them real quick. So this was a Mercy Vision thing. This is their, it might be their last album. Yep, I haven't listened to this one yet, but it was released in 1990. Um, I've only heard Floodland from them, which I would love to find a vinyl copy of that. They're kind of known as like a goth or alternative band from the 80s. So I'm really curious to listen to this one. I'm not familiar with this. It's This is kind of just one that was thrown in that I didn't know about. It's called Fluke, Six Wheels on My Wagon. It might be, and it says Made in Holland. This might be Electronica, but I'm not totally sure yet. Released in 93. And then Orbital Insides, Electronica group from the 90s. And this was released in 96. Head on the Door from The Cure, which I do have on vinyl. I love this album. Nice to have a CD copy. Pulp. This is kind of a, um, I've never seen this before. And there's, yes, there's a huge crack on that CD. Freshly Squeezed, The Early Years. I've only heard, um, what's that album from 95? Oh, you guys, I'm drawing a blank here. It's called like Special Class or something like that. That's the only one I've heard, but I figured, you know, I would start to get into their material and this, you know, was included in one of those sets, so. I finally got Martin Gore's Counterfeit EP. Martin Gore, of course, is one of the leaders of Depeche Mode. He is responsible for writing a lot of their songs or most of their songs. So this is from 1989. Yeah, I love all the songs on here. This is a really good EP. I've been wanting that in my collection for a while. Um, finally got a copy of Nine Inch Nails Downward Spiral. I can't believe I didn't have this on any format. So um, yeah, it's nice to finally have a copy of that. I have this 2010 like remastered version of Pretty Hate Machine. This album I was obsessed with for many years. I had it on cassette growing up, so. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to get something else by them, but I do have the 12-inch single of The Day the World Went Away. All right, next. Okay, I haven't listened to these yet. These were, you know, just included in that set. Skinny Puppy, any, I know that Chad, at Chad's music stuff is big in, into them, and he kind of told me a little bit about these, but there's some singles in here. Skinny Puppy Chainsaw. Um, 1985, looks like. I guess they're kind of known as being one of the industrial groups of that era. Spasmolytic. And then I have, I think this might be like kind of a comeback album for, for them. It's The Greater Wrong of the Right. This came out in 2004. And then we have Ministries Animo, Animositisamina. I don't know. I really am not familiar with Ministry, but this says 2003. So yeah, I'll give those a listen and see what those are about. More 90s stuff, Soul Asylums, Let Your Dim Light Shine. I actually don't have anything from Soul Asylum, so I am excited to kind of delve into their stuff. An underrated power pop band, Fountains of Wayne. This is their self-titled debut from, gosh, I'm sure it was like, yeah, 96. Really happy to have some of the, some more of their stuff now because I have Utopia Parkway in the back. That was the only thing I had from them. And also Welcome Interstate Managers. I do know Stacy's mom from this one, but um, it should be interesting listening to the rest of this, but this came out in 2003. 
Then we have two two CDs, which I was very, very happy to win. Um, Pavement Slanted and Enchanted. These are both the deluxe editions that I'm gonna show you. But look at all the tracks on this two CD set. Yeah, and it comes with a really, like here's the CD and it comes with a nice booklet. I told you guys before I was getting into pavement. So yeah, that's a really long book. And I'm sure eventually I will be getting their vinyl reissues. It's just not something that I see happening like in the next few months. So, um, and then I got Crooked Rain, even though I already had like the single disc version of this, but it's nice to have like all the extra tracks there. Same thing, a booklet comes with this, like a really thick booklet. So yeah, this will be, uh, I'm excited to listen to like, wow, there's like 50 tracks total on this thing. And then I'm gonna show you my last two here. I think I'm down to the last two, yeah. We've got the House Martins. Special shout out to Daddy Sensei Silver, who is Lou, and uh, Boston Rob Panix, because they're both fans of the House Martins and they kind of, well, Lou mentioned the House Martins and Beautiful South in his top 20 favorite bands video. So I was like, hmm, I'm kind of curious about them. And I actually found this locally. I was super stoked to stumble upon that locally because I didn't think I was going to find any of their stuff around here. But it's a, it says Made in England. This is actually a compilation of B-sides, um, BBC sessions, and just cuts from their two albums. They were only together for like four years and they made two albums. I really like this stuff. It's catchy. It's kind of jingle pop. I'd say if I were to compare them to a band, I would say The Smiths. Um, but yeah, just it's pretty catchy stuff. Um, good lyrics, unique lyrics. So I'm really enjoying this. I've only been able to listen to half of this so far because there's, you know, a huge track listing on there. But I'm really enjoying that. So thank you, both of you guys, for um, telling me more about them. And then finally, I got a copy of Big Star's third, Sister Lovers. I only had this on Burn CD before. This is the Ryko disc version from uh, 92. So it has extra tracks on there. Yeah, there's like 19 songs. I think there's like four bonus, yeah, four bonus tracks. Um, yep, yeah, this is the last Big Star album. It's, if you've only heard Number One Record and Radio City, this is quite a departure from those two. There's still some catchy songs on here, but um, it's also like very stark. So it's different. Alex Chilton was going through some stuff, maybe kind of a breakdown. And I think Jody Stevens and Alex Chilton are the only two remaining members on here. They had like some studio sessions come in to help finish this album, but yeah, I'm glad to have this. I still like this album. Um, sometimes it doesn't get the best reviews, but um, it might take a while to grow on you as well. But it's nice to have this CD finally. So that's it, you guys. That's my uh, recent pickups. I have some BCLT coming from Dean over at Grandma's Handbag. Very generous for him to send me something because I told him I'm sending him something. Like, he doesn't need to send me anything. My good pal Robert, NYC Raised on Records, is sending me yet another BCLT package. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. So I think I'm going to film um, a video on Monday or I'll do like two segments and combine them into one video. So I'm trying to do that before Christmas. We'll see if I get that out. Also, Juliana Hatfield's uh, Only Everything album is supposed to be coming on Monday. I ordered this back in August from Run Out Groove, but they've just been taking a while um, in reissuing that and sending it. So maybe I'll show that as well if I get it in time. All right, you guys, that's all I've got today. Um, have a Merry Christmas if I don't, you know, see you before then. I think I will try to put out that other video on Monday if I can, and then the shoegaze video probably before the end of the month. Happy holidays, and I will see you really soon. Peace.